Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. It is great to have you with us today. And we do want to begin with updates from the senseless mass shooting in downtown Sacramento. Now, at least six people are dead, 12 injured after multiple gunmen opened fire on bustling K Street. The police are now asking for the public's help to track down the killers. And a warning for all of you, some of the video you're about to see is disturbing. Sacramento police ask citizens for videos like this after a 2 a.m. mass shooting leaves at least six people dead and the gunman on the run. It's unclear if the altercation seen here is related to the attack or if it just occurred simultaneously. What we do know is at least 76 gunshots were heard in one minute, just as hundreds were heading home from the bars in downtown Sacramento. We know that a large fight took place just prior to the shootings, and we have confirmed that there are multiple shooters. Investigators are currently interviewing numerous witnesses. We have located hundreds of pieces of evidence at the scene. A stolen handgun has been recovered from the scene. Fatal victims were left in the street until at least 10.30 a.m., more than eight hours after the shooting. My baby's name was Sergio Harris. Pamela Harris raced down to K Street to learn if her son, Sergio, was among the dead. It's heartbreaking to see what's going on out here. They're not telling us anything. Minutes after this interview, police confirmed the worst. Sergio had been killed, along with his cousin, Devazia Turner. Pop stars Ali and AJ performed at the Crest Theater hours before the shooting. On Twitter, they confirmed their bus was caught in the crossfire, but that everyone is okay. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg demands gun control reform as his city is actively grieving. It is beyond time to have a sane conversation about guns in America. We have a sickness. It's a sickness in our country. It's a sickness in our culture. Mayor Steinberg reiterated that thoughts and prayers are not enough and that action needs to be taken to save our country from gun violence.